welcome dear students to our history class of standard 9th today we will discuss chapter 7 science and technology in this chapter we shall study india's achievements in the areas of science and technology also we are going to learn about the important institutions in the areas of science and technology and their contribution the indian atomic energy commission was first set up in august 1948 in the department of scientific research which was created a few months earlier in june 1948 with the enactment of the atomic energy bill in 1948 the atomic energy commission was established on 10th august 1948 with dr homi baba as its first chairman the commission was entrusted with the formulation and implementation of the policy of the government in all matters concerning atomic energy the atomic energy commission of india is the governing body of the department of atomic energy of the government of india the department of atomic energy is under the direct charge of the prime minister the functions of the atomic energy commission are to organize research in atomic science in the country to train atomic scientists in the country to promote nuclear research in commission's own laboratories in india to undertake prospecting of atomic minerals in india and to extract such minerals for use on industrial scale apsara is asia's oldest research reactor in mumbai Apsara in addition to being the first nuclear research reactor in India that reached criticality on August 4, 1956 was also the first in Asia. The 1 megawatt Apsara research reactor that was inaugurated by the then Prime Minister Jawaharlal Nehru was also a pool type reactor. Tarapur Atomic Power Station is located in Tarapur Palghar India in 1969 it was the first commercial nuclear power station built in India Indira Gandhi Center for Atomic Research is one of India's premier nuclear research centers it is the second largest establishment of the department of atomic energy next to baba atomic research center located at at kalpakam 80 km south of chennai it was established in 1971 as an exclusive center dedicated to the pursuit of fast reactor science and technology due to the vision of dr vikram sarabhai originally it was called as reactor research center it was renamed as indira gandhi center for atomic research by the then prime minister of india rajiv gandhi in december 18 1985 the center is engaged in broad based multidisciplinary program of scientific research and advanced engineering directed towards the development of fast breeder reactor technology in india heavy water board is a constituent unit under the department of atomic energy in the government of india the organization is primarily responsible for the production of heavy water which is used as a moderator and coolant in nuclear power as well as research reactors other than heavy water The heavy water board is also engaged with production of nuclear grade solvents and extraction of rare materials. India is one of the largest manufacturers of heavy water in the world. Factories manufacturing the heavy water needed for the generation of atomic power was set up at Vadodara, Talcher, Tuticorin, Kota, etc. The Dhruva reactor is india's largest re nuclear reactor research reactor it was the first nuclear reactor in asia proper located in the mumbai suburb of trombe at the baba atomic research center it is india's primary generator of weapons grade plutonium bearing spent fuel for its nuclear weapons program 
originally named the R5, this open pool reactor first went critical on 8th August 1985 after 10 years of construction. However, the unit did not attain full power until 1988. Indian scientists have achieved major landmark in atomic energy program with Dhruva. Dhruva would be the largest research reactor in the world. Dhruva will also provide radio stobis that will have uses in industry and biotechnology. The Nuclear Power Corporation of India Limited is an Indian public sector undertaking based in Mumbai, Maharashtra. It is wholly owned by the Government of India and is responsible for the generation of nuclear power for electricity. The Nuclear Power Corporation of India Limited is administered by the Department of Atomic Energy. In India started its own nuclear program in 1944 when Homi Jahangir Baba founded the Tata Institute of Fundamental Research. Physicist Raja Ramanna and Dr. Homi Setna played an essential role in nuclear weapons technology research. Dr. Raja Ramanna expanded and supervised scientific research on nuclear weapons and was the first directing officer of the small team of scientists that supervised and carried out the test. Operation Smiling Buddha was the assigned code name of India's first successful nuclear bomb test on 18th May 1974. The bomb was detonated on the Army Base Pokhran Test Range in Rajasthan by the Indian Army under the supervision of several key Indian generals. Indira Gandhi, the then Prime Minister of India, saw a massive rise in popularity following this test. The reason why India took this decision was China's nuclear capability and Pakistan's desperate efforts to acquire nuclear weapons with China's help. The Pokhran 2 tests were a series of five nuclear bomb test explosions conducted by India at the Indian Army Pokhran's test range in May 1998. It was the second instance of nuclear testing conducted by India. The test achieved their major objective of giving India the capability to build fission and thermonuclear weapons with yields up to 200 kilotons. The Indian government led by Prime Minister Atal Bihari Vajpayee shortly convened a press conference to declare India as a full-fledged nuclear state. The test resulted in a variety of sanctions against India by a number of major states including Japan and the United States. Responsible for developing indigenous guided missiles at DRDO, the Missile Man of India, Dr. Kalam, after having worked for 20 years at ISRO, was appointed as the CEO of Integrated Guided Missile Development Program. Abdul Kalam was an Indian aerospace scientist who served as the 11th President of India from 2002 to 2007. Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam was the head of India's two largest science research agencies, the Defence Research and Development Organisation and the Indian Space Research Organisation. Dr. Kalam is credited for developing and operating work of Agni and Prithvi, the indigenous guided missiles. Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam was also called the Missile Man of India for his work on Agni and Prithvi. He thus came to be known as the Missile Man of India for his work on the development of ballistic missile and launch vehicle technology. Prithvi is India's first made in India and made by India ballistic missile. In 1983, India launched the Integrated Guided Missile Development Program to indigenously research and develop a wide variety of missiles. The program 
overseen by the Defence Research and Development Organisation, proceeded under the leadership of former President APJ Abdul Kalam. In 1988, India test-fired its first homemade ballistic missile, the Prithvi-1. Since then, India has developed three versions of Prithvi. Prithvi is a tactical surface-to-surface short-range ballistic missile developed by Defence Research and Development Organisation of India. It is deployed by India's Strategic Forces Command. The Prithvi missile project encompassed developing three variants for use by the Indian Army, Indian Air Force and the Indian Navy. Scientists say Prithvi, India's first surface-to-surface -surface missile, is more lethal than all its international contemporaries. The Agni missile is a family of medium to intercontinental range ballistic missiles developed by India, named after one of the five elements of nature. Agni missiles are long-range nuclear weapons capable surface-to-surface -surface ballistic missiles. The first missile of the series, Agni-1, was developed under the Integrated Guided Missile Development Program and tested in 1989. According to DRDO, the Agni-P is a two-stage canisterized solid propellant ballistic missile with dual redundant navigation and guidance system. In simple terms, canisterization of missiles reduces the time required to launch the missile while improving its storage and mobility. Akash is a medium-range mobile surface-to-air missile system developed by DRDO and produced by Bharat Dynamics Limited. The Akash missiles can target aircraft up to 50 to 80 kilometers away at an altitude up to 18,000 meters. It has the capability to neutralize aerial targets like fighter jets, cruise missiles, and air-to-surface missiles as well as ballistic missiles. It is an operational service with the Indian Army and the Indian Air Force. The Nag missile is a third generation and anti-tank guided missile which has top attack capabilities that can effectively engage and destroy all known enemy tanks during day and night. The Army needs third generation ATGMs with a strike range of over 2.5 kilometers with fire and forget capabilities. The NAG missile, also called Prospina for the land attack version, is an Indian third generation all weather fire and forget lock on after launch anti tank guided missile with an operational range of 500 meter to 20 kilometer. It has a single shot hit probability of 90% and a 10 year maintenance free shelf life. The NAG has five variants under development. So dear students, today we have learnt about India's Atomic Energy Commission, nuclear test and missile development. In the next video, we will learn about space research and technological progress. That's all for this class. Thanks for watching.